Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. That, that this makes so much more sense now. No wonder why motherfuckers Oh my goodness. I hope this nigga ain't about to smell it. He's about to like fucking just rub his nipples erotically in that shit or some weird shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this this view right there reminds me of this motherfucker from Boston. But actually, hold up. Nigga, it's 2010. Why the fuck didn't this nigga just email it? That nigga sound like he beating his dick. This is already weird as shit, man. Wow. Alright, choose on, mister. Wait, wait, don't. Oh, I'm cleaning it I'm here. not. Kiddo? How we doing in there, buddy? I'm sorry I just barged in like that to your personal space. Yeah, yeah. Alright, not for nothing. Not for nothing. I know I wore the crop top for the bit, but after seeing that weird shit, I don't feel comfortable wearing a crop top. Hold on, I'll be right back. Let's get back to this fucking, this fucking nut bean shit. Pause. I didn't see anything. Listen, why the nigga grinning though? That's my thing. Nigga grinning. Oh, uh, let me. Nigga, this is how low the quality is? Kid. What the fuck? Yo, tell these niggas to record on 4K. What you were just doing is which I had no right to interrupt without knocking. And I'm sorry. But what you were doing was completely natural. And normal and, and to be expected. And I just wanted to come in, not to make it weird, but just to make sure you weren't feeling strange. Because there's nothing to feel strange about. It's something that everybody does. And every motherfucker called him be beating the ever living dog shit out of his meat. He's literally putting into use the dick beater's paws. And all people deserve to have their boundaries respected. And that's where I crossed the line. So I'm um, sorry if this is weird. But I just wanted to make sure you weren't feeling ugly. And like, like this was ugly. And hide it under the rug and let it become something taboo between us. You know what taboo is? Yes. <laughs> well, now it won't be. Because we talked about it. And it's out in the open. Okay. I am sorry if this is weird. It's not. Oh, good. It shouldn't be. Ooh. Ooh. I don't. I get a father and son, but my nigga, the dude just got got them beating his meat. He's gonna be like, mm. <laughs> like, yes, you're my son. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. Dad. I love you. I love you back. Why do you say it like that? It was such a straight face. You're just like, I love you, father. Was that nigga beating the ever living dog shit? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my God, that, that this makes so much more sense now. No wonder why motherfuckers, oh my goodness. Wow, Destiny, you watch this shit? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling your mama on you, man. I'm telling your fucking mom on you for recommending me this shit. You recommended me this, this, this rambunctious shit? Got me wonder what the fuck did you be watching your free time? You know what I mean? I hate to cuss. Oh, that's just lovely. And if we could all just look straight ahead, please. Wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. And we're a happy little family with a great big smile. Fantastic. Uh, and how about a smile from dad this time? Was I not smiling? Oh, were you? Uh... Oh, sorry, I thought I was. Then let's just have another big one, please. There we go. Love it. <laughs> okay, looking good. And now if I could just get a big smile from the two happy families. Family. <laughs> sorry? This, yo, this is this fucking wild. Happy Got a little crowd all of a sudden. That's the way I like it. You see my cufflinks? Yeah, we can see those, no problem. You think? Because I could turn more toward the camera. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Bobby. Do we all say cheese? Say cheese? Oh, hell no, he is not.
I don't know what the fuck to say. We're not even five minutes in this bitch. This, we are seeing one of the most egregious shits in the first five minutes I've probably ever seen. I'm disgusted, honest, honestly. Honestly, I am kind of glad I, I went to stop at that store before I, before recording, man. I'm going to just put it like that. Hi, you. You are such a... Got me one way. Wow. Is that the name of the, is that the name of the father and the son? Hi, honey. Have you seen Isaiah? Uh, no. uh, everyone having a good time? Come on, I get a hot beautiful reception. I will be right back. Hold on. I could not stop crying. What the fuck is about to happen? I know I didn't just hear either kissing or sucking sounds. I'm gonna just leave it at that. If I heard what I think I thought I heard, what I thought I heard, I pray to Zeus I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're blowing up balloons and dude in there like, you know what I mean? Trying to make little, little dog balloon nigga shits. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Balloon animals. Yes. Maybe they're doing that shit. My heart dropped. I'm gonna be real with you. My heart fucking dropped, yo, because I thought that was gonna show the motherfucking woman. What the fuck? Yo, yo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this nigga tossed his father's fucking thing in the back of this motherfucking jalupa. What the fuck was that? I thought this was gonna show it. I thought my my YouTube career was over before this shit even started. I, I saw I saw I saw those the bright light at the end of the tunnel for a hot second. Oh my I'm sorry for keep pausing it. How the fuck do you proceed with your motherfucking day after after seeing some shit like that? I, I had a joke. I had a joke. I'm not sure if I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm not sure if I if I can even say it. Ninety nine problems, but a dick ain't one. Honey, would you go get your father? Dinner's up. Shall I help set the table? Oh, that's okay. Everything's under control. Mm, she's broken. She's devastated. I mean, then again, who, who wouldn't be devastated? For once, for once, I can't really make a joke about this shit, man. This shit is fucking wild. Like, I might, I might, I might literally might cry myself to sleep tonight. Like, I know I'm starting a lot of this because I'm trying, I'm still trying to process what the fuck I just saw. Like, like, I know this is, like, not real. I know this is acting, but, yo, this is fucking egregious.
See, see, that shit wouldn't happen if you had like a newer fucking computer instead of that 1969 bullshit. See, it, literally, I'm not, I'm not even a huge fucking Apple, Apple fucking dick rat or anything, but literally, cop yourself an Apple. Actually, better yet, get you one of the motherfucking Google Chrome laptops, bro. That shit is light years ahead of that bullshit. Hey, pop. Time for din-dins. Here we go. It's hot. Mmm. You want one of these? I'm okay. They're Belgian. I know. Thank you. I'm okay. You know, these aren't for me, Dad. I got them for you. I'll have one. Well, they're Dad's, so you're gonna have to ask him first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the fuck does nigga switch up? From from being nice to a little passive passive aggressive little bitch. It's like no, I got it for dad. <laughs> oh my god, I want to punch this little nigga in the throat. I'm sorry. Pass the potatoes, please. Thank you. Would you like one? Oh, maybe later. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Biscuits? I know this nigga ain't playing pussies with the motherfucker. That's crazy. Nigga fondling his feet. That's 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 disgusting. The coke. Oh, that man looking like he about to go for uh, for for some milk and not come back type shit. This nigga's going for cigarettes. Hey. I, I forgot that toilet was broken. I'm just going to use yours. No, that's my... Wait a minute. You, you, your mother's in there. I can wait. See, that's weird as shit, too. That's weird as shit, too. Because, like, if I had to use the bathroom and someone else was in that shit and I had to wait, I wouldn't fucking wait in the motherfucking room. I think that's weird as shit to me. Maybe maybe y'all family, maybe y'all family, y'all households, y'all do that shit, but... Motherfucker, I'm waiting in my room, you know what I mean? I'm in the living room. What the fuck is about to happen? Oh shit. Don't look so scared. Oh shit. The, the nigga found it? Oh my fucking god.
tell you, Dad. From a poet, I expect more eloquence. I'm sorry. What for? Hmm? For nothing? How many days has passed since this man like left that under like has it only been a couple hours? Cause I'm not convinced that this nigga right here sat there and read through all those motherfucking pages and then rolled up on him. Honestly, I'll probably give him like halfway. I give him like a good 20 pages he read. He was just, oh, this is bullshit. I seen enough. I read enough. You mean your little autobiography? All 300 pages of it? Oh, this nigga did not read all 300 pages. He did not read that shit. I love you, Dad. Oh, God. But this makes it hard. What do you mean by that? And I'm burning this. Oh, okay. And if I see another copy lying around, it's gonna be more than a slap on the wrist. Well, this nigga's a fucking idiot. This nigga's a fucking dumbass. You know what I mean? If he was so worried about getting exposed, he should have destroyed that motherfucking computer with a baseball bat or, or something. He could have been like, oh, sorry, uh fucking there's a leak and then I don't, I don't know dump water on it and just say there's a leak or some shit i don't know 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 happy new year happy new year no no way he deleted the entire copy there's no way he deleted Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this this view right there reminds me of this motherfucker from Boston. Holy shit. That's the look. That is the that is the exact look I got at the club, right? I I'm a I've probably told the story at least 3 or 4 times, right? So, to brief summary, I went out to the club about this is a while back, probably like a year or 2 years ago, right? It was me, another nigga, and you know the people we and the two girls we went with, right? This nigga had a, the weirdest staring problem, right? Come to find out he was racist, but that's besides the point. I didn't know he was racist at that point. His default look was this. I got you right now. Like, I'm not I'm not even lying. You would have thought he was off the rocks. You know what I mean? You would have thought his favorite uh, baseball team is the Colorado Rockies. That was just his default face. I was in a club, right? And I'm the tallest motherfucker there, as I am at most clubs, right? Those playing pop spoke. I was getting sturdy with the shits. The nigga from Boston and his date. I'm looking for them because, you know what I mean, like, the per, uh, her friend, you know, the, the person I, I went there with was just, like, wondering, like, what the fuck was going on, yada, 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 like, where the fuck they at? I look over, right? I cannot, I cannot make this up, right? So, in the corner of the motherfucking room, there was a DJ booth, like, at an angle, obviously, you know what I mean? So, there was, like, a row of, like, booths next to the DJ table, like, not, not, not really booths, like, probably, like, 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 Booth, I'll probably say like booth chairs that's against the wall and that's that's it. I see these two motherfuckers making out, right? And I and like keep in mind too, it's the first day these motherfuckers met, you know what I mean? And so they were they were they were like getting into it. I go to see where these motherfuckers are at, right? This nigga stares at me for like five seconds as he's making out with her, like just Fucking dead, his eyes deadlocked on me, like how my eyes are deadlocked on you guys right now. Guys, for those who are well known to my channel, this is the same motherfucker that I can, hold on, I gotta, this man got on, on, on his hands and knees at the same club, mind you, hands and knees. The, his date drops his, her earring or whatever. Anyone who's over 21 and been to a club or anyone who's been to a club knows how dirty the motherfucking club is. This nigga was on his hands and knees. Fucking grabbing handfuls of alcoholic floor water, putting it up to the light, and just doing that to see if he got the motherfucking earring. It was the most disgusting shit I have ever seen in my life. Like I wouldn't like usually if I see some disgusting like, disgusting shit like that, 
That's some shit. You guys can apply what I'm talking about. That's some shit. But I talked to some individuals in that particular group. I asked them, is that some shit? They was just like, yo, listen, we do crazy shit all the time, but that nigga's crazy. And I'm just like, okay, I, I'm, you know, I mean, my bad for assuming I had to talk to y'all, I had to delegate with y'all for a hot second. Point is, he looked like that fuck nigga right there. I'm sorry, I'm saying nigga a lot. That just brought back a memory and a half right there. Oh my god, you guys were gonna leave without a hug. Ew. We would have made it too. Good night. Thank you so much for coming. This nigga in the corner like Batman. What the fuck? This man won't stop sitting in the corner. Nigga camping. Oh, he's a crazy little fucker. Oh, that. Oh, he's you know, a. Oh, he's a. I think I'm just gonna help and stay here. You're gonna what? Just to help clean. I mean, this is such a mess we're leaving him with. It's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna come home a little bit later, okay? That's all. A person who wakes up in the morning and says today's gonna be awful. I just know it. Well, that person is just about guaranteed to have an awful day. In fact, he'll do the legwork to make it awful. Through the power of his attitude, he'll prevent every potentially good thing on his path from reaching its potential. And if good things do happen, well, he'll be looking in the other direction. Because what he's done is he's committed himself to the prison of negativity. I know, I, I know I'm, a, I'm on a high level of living right now, right? But I'm 95% sure I heard glass breaking like Stone Cold Steve Austin's entrance. Dad? How do I feel about locked doors? What the fuck is about to happen? What the fuck is about to happen right now? That's the most scary. That's the most scary shit I've ever seen. What the fuck am I watching right now? What's that in your book? Oh hell no! This nigga, this nigga trifling. This nigga crazy. Dude's better than me. If I'm, I know for a fact, if I know for a fact, if I know for a fact, if I was a dude and I knew the girl overheard everything, oh hell no, nah. oh hell no, nah. I'm gonna send him a first class ticket to a 1v1 with involving Kobe Bryant and who else? Fucking Bill Russell, bro. And what's that? Another book of yours? Oh shit. Where, where the fuck what the fuck is this man at? I didn't even fucking see the nigga. I'm not asking you anything. Well, I'm asking you. Where the fuck is he? Am I just fucking dumb? What the fuck is he? I, where is he sitting at? I'm just leaving. Is he, are they just shooting this in the Oh my god, I see him now. If you want me to apologize, I'll apologize. And I am sorry about what happened last night. And I did go too far. But what about you? Am I totally alone here? Am I just this abusive monster and you're some sad, helpless victim? Or does it take two to tango? 
Because I think it does. And if I've done anything, you've done it with me. Don't check your fucking head at me! Everything I've ever done has been for you, and for you, and for you, and to what end? I didn't ask for this. This is your thing, something you started. But I'm here now, and I'm in it, and I've given myself, and I've accepted you completely. The gaslight is crazy. Yo, that nigga's crazy. That motherfucker is a D1 bound gaslighter. Honestly, I'm pretty sure a lot of you frat niggas out there. Oh, then again, I'm not going to group all you frat niggas, but some of you frat niggas in Rhode Island, I'm pretty sure you guys went to the same school of gaslighting as this motherfucker right here. But you are not just my father. You're my friend. I said it. You're my best friend. And maybe we can just agree that that's a beautiful thing and not something to be perverted and corrupted and mutilated by your warped and confused conscience. What? You've always sabotaged everything good in your life. You've been shitting all over this from the minute we started. You never gave it a chance to be good. But you can sleep with that cold bitch in that loveless bed. And you can write your backwards book about your backwards son, but not a single word about what you've done. It's just love, Dad. Is this nigga out of his goddamn mind? And right now, you're, you're breaking my heart. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna say that was. No! 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 Don't touch him! Don't the fucking ambulance! There's another eight minutes of this shit going on. So a lot more shit must pop off. All of this shit that transpired, right? One thing is ingrained to the back of my head, right? This shit happened in 2010, right? Why in the Kentucky Fried Fuck did this motherfucker had a computer from the like the 80s? I'm pretty sure my teachers had that same exact computer, man. That's on you. That's on you. I I'm not saying your death is on you, but all of this could have been avoided if you just at least had at least a PC, Hell, even Apple, bro. Even Apple, bro. Like, I'll upload that shit to the cloud. You know what I mean? Like, he like he could be like, oh, we can never see this ever again, nigga. Even well, actually, hold up, nigga. It's 2010. Why the fuck didn't this nigga just email it? He could have just emailed it, cc'd, um, fucking all his family and friends, anyone, anyone that needs to know. Boom, this shit would have been avoided. Honestly, honestly, I hate to sound this way. That might be his fault. This might be his fault, honestly. Like, this whole thing could have been avoided if you just had a more modern computer and just emailed that bitch to everyone. I hate to be cinema sins, but motherfucker could have just solved, literally, a quarter of this movie would have been cut down if he just emailed that shit to so many people. I hope this nigga ain't about to smell it. He about to like fucking just rub his nipples erotically in that shit or some weird shit. Oh, even worse, he's gonna wear it. Yeah, this nigga's crazy. This nigga I want to fucking... ask you something, Isaiah. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> How are you holding up? Why was your father crying when he drove you home from prom night? I'm sorry? On your prom night, when he brought you back home. What about it? He was crying. 
Was he? He was crying, and he wouldn't look at me. Are you being serious? Oh, my goodness. He locked himself in the bathroom, and he just cried, and he cried all night with the sink running. I don't remember that at all. Is that when it started? <gasps> that was 10 years ago. Oh, How am shit. I supposed to remember what happened one night? Prom night? Which was 10 years ago. That's a pretty long time to remember what your father did at a specific time on a specific night. It, it started earlier. I... I know that. When... When did it start? Mom, you're emotional. I'm emotional. We are this not is, ourselves. Stop. You don't even know what you're trying to say. I know exactly what I am trying to say. Well, I don't. This nigga's But I think it's pretty ugly what you seem to be saying, and I think you would agree if you could hear yourself. I'm sorry. This nigga is still gaslighting. Holy shit. Honestly, this man might be a first round draft pick in a gaslighting Olympics, bro. Between between him and Mark Mark Phillips, I'm still taking Mark Phillips, but this guy's up there. This guy's up there. I say top top ten. You killed your own father. Oh, How shit. could you? What? Wait. Get off of me! Ooh. I'm warning you, Mom. You don't warn me! Ooh. Damn! I loved him better than you ever did. What the fuck? This fuck nigga... Warn me! <laughs> I loved him better than you ever did. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah, this nigga gotta die. You gotta hit him with a fucking two. Nah, I shoulda fucked that. Hit him with the motherfucking ten piece chicken McNugget kids meal. What the sweet and sour sauce and motherfucker. You sick, Ow! sick, Ow! sick. Ow! Damn. <laughs> Fuck, yo, she got Molly wild. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> crazy emotional moment man i, I had a count i i low-key want to go back and count to see how many times this motherfucker got stabbed this motherfucker got stabbed at least i say at least 12, 12 to 15 times that means <laughs> bro, why why is the camera on her for so long bro please cut to the next scene already <laughs> thank you shit I feel like a dick and I can't take nothing serious, man. Like, yo, like, yo, the editor was just like, all right, here's 30 seconds. This is straight unedited crying, yo. Enjoy. Like, subscribe. But why does she, oh, okay, never mind. That was the most craziest shit I have ever seen in my life. Destiny, if you're watching this right now, you're probably not. I'm going to tell Toby to beat your ass, all right? Because you, you recommended me some fuck shit.